Hi, I'm Rebecca, and today we're going to learn how to use the new 3M IV securement device that's going to replace the barred securement or the stat lock. And we also have these posters on the floors that will show you how to walk yourself through it. In this demonstration, we're going to learn how to use the new IV securement device, which is the 3M Tegaderm. Okay, so in your normal sterile fashion at the bedside, we're going to start an IV. We're going to look for our IV. So after you find your vein, you want to kind of eyeball the area because you want to clean the entire surface under the dressing and off to the side. So where we where we're going to put our tape to secure the J loop and you want to make sure that it's clean and prepped and completely dry before you start. So I've found my vein and I've inserted my catheter and I'm going to connect my um, IV tubing. Okay. And I'm going to hold it steady. So you want to hold the 3M like a piece of pizza and you really want to pinch it a little bit so that it's easier to um, get the notch to cover only the hub of the catheter, the colored area, not the lure lock device. So we're going to cover just the colored part and we're going to lie it down and the important part is to pinch right here over the colored catheter so that we can carefully push the wings here underneath the lure lock device and to create a secure placement. Okay. Then we're going to remove the, the frame and we really want to um, push down and adhere the 3M to the surface of the skin because remember the skin isn't smooth, it's full of valleys and hills, so we want to make sure that it is really adhered to the patient's skin. Next we want to take this securement tape strip and remove it so that we can apply it over the hub of the catheter. So we want to line up the edge here with the edge of the adhesive on the main window. So we line it up at the very edge and we kind of bend it back all the way to the edge of the hub. I'll move my hand so you can see all the way to the hub. And then we want to carefully go over the hub all the way to the other side to create a nice little cover. We want to pinch it down so it's nice and taut. And then last but not least, we want to date time and initial. And then we want to take the long edge, the long edge here, and slide it underneath the lure lock. And adhere it to that, so that the long edge is just lining up and just covering the edge of the main window. Okay, so that we get pull and tug force here. And then once everything is properly taped down, again, we want to make sure that we smooth it all down so it's nice and taut. Okay. Then we want to take our tape and create a J loop. We want to make um, an omega loop or tape, and it, that's why it was so important to clean outside the barrier of the window because we want to make sure that this tape adheres well to the patient's skin. So we're going to put it down, facing away from the patient. We're going to put it down. We're going to pull it back a little so that the sticky side is up. We're going to place the catheter, and then we're going to flip the tape back over so that the tape is covering the catheter and we're going to tape it down to the patient's skin so that this, this omega tape has a little bit of pull force and so that the catheter is not actually resting on the top of the patient's skin. So now it's very secure. So um, at Mission Hospital, our IVs can dwell for seven days. 
um, you have to follow your hospital policy, but in the event that this needs to be changed because it's become soiled, um, 3M is very easily removed. All you have to do is roll the edge with your glove on, because it's going to help stick to the glove, till you get a corner, and then you can very easily remove it from itself. So we want to start with the last piece of tape we put on. So we'll roll till we catch an edge and remove it. And we go to the next piece and we just roll till we catch an edge and then it very easily peels off. And if you need to change the window, you just roll it back nice and gently till you catch an edge and then you want to hold, stabilize the catheter. But the important part is to pull it back low and slow so that the 3M device releases itself cleanly from the skin all the way around and then hold the skin a little taut so that it doesn't pull. Okay. And then you could apply a new bandage. So in the event that you use a butterfly catheter, you want to hold the 3M like a slice of pizza and you want to line up this edge of the butterfly catheter with the keyhole here. And then you just want to adhere the window to the patient's skin. Then you want to take the securement tape strip and you want to cover the keyhole and secure it down. Last but not least, we want to date and label our strip and then take the long edge and line it up with the 3M product underneath the catheter. And again, we want to press down nice and firm so that it adhere, adheres to the patient's skin. So this notch is supposed to cover the colored part of the catheter, and these are the fingers. So if you think about it after you've inserted your IV, it's fingers to fingers. So fingers to fingers, fingers to fingers, fingers to fingers, fingers to fingers. So if you were to insert an IV here, it's still fingers to fingers.